Minakata Kumagusa's life can be divided into the periods before and after he settled here in Tanabe. How did he make use of and expand upon his earlier studies overseas when he came to live here in Tanabe? After his years of travel, Kumagusa's constant companion was his microscope, through which he viewed the world. In 1906, two years after moving to Tanabe, he married the daughter of a shrine's chief priest and had two children, a boy and a girl. Kumangusu discovered a new genus and species of Mycetozoa in his garden that was named Minakatella in his honor by Guglielma Lister. At the same time, Kumagusa was deeply troubled by the destruction of Tanabe's forests. The government's shrine merger policy stipulated that no town or village should have more than one shrine. The shrine forests were natural ecosystems. Cutting the trees not only destroyed those habitats, but also disrupted the customs and traditions of the communities whose lives were deeply intertwined with the shrines. Kumagusu dedicated himself to protecting the shrine forests, standing against the government. Kumagusu had spent most of the time after his return to Japan at age 33, until his move to Tanabe, living in a quiet woodland in Nachi. He later recalled that peaceful time. You could call it primeval, because it is primeval. But that's why it's so important to science. And in a letter to Dogi Horyu, a Buddhist monk whom he had met during his stay in London, Kumagusa revealed his unique concept of the universe. This would later come to be called the Minakata Mandalas, considered to be the heart of Kumagusu's philosophy. Kumagusu believed that everything in nature was interconnected, and that through careful observation, it was possible to fully understand the interrelationships. In this way, Kumagusa's experience in Nachi converged with Buddhist beliefs and natural science, coming together in the concept that the Earth is a living entity. Thus, to Kumagusu, destruction of the shrine forests was a terrible shock and a violation of all that he believed. One location that Kumagusu was especially passionate about protecting was Kashima Island in Tanabe Bay. When logging operations on Kashima Island appeared imminent, Kumagusu quickly acted to get the island designated as a forest preserve. Although small compared to the vast acreage of the forests of the Key Peninsula, the preservation of Kashima Island was one of the greatest successes among Kumagusu's various campaigns.
When Emperor Hirohito visited Tanabe Bay, he requested Kumagusu to lecture on Kashima Island about Tanabe Bay's biota. Kumagusu's work on slime molds had attracted the interest of the emperor, who was also a trained biologist. In 1935, Kashima Island was designated a national monument. At the end of 1941, Kumagusu's eventful life came to a close. It is said that lying ill in bed, he told a family member, purple flowers are blooming on the ceiling. I feel happy. Don't call the doctor. It was truly the vision of a scholar who had spent his life wandering through forests in a constant search for plants. After his death, Kumagusu's heirs faithfully preserved tens of thousands of documents and other materials untouched. Of special interest are the many letters from overseas scholars and intellectuals. One of them was the Chinese revolutionary Sun Yat-sen. While living in Japan, Sun Yat-sen traveled all the way to Wakayama just to meet Kumagusu. That was the last time that the two met. It was 10 years later that Sun Yat-sen's Shinhai Revolution succeeded. Tanabe, Ki, Japan was always the address written on correspondence sent to Kumagusu from around the world. Ki was the archaic name for Wakayama Prefecture. If Kumagusu's microscope represented his intellectual curiosity, then Tanabe represented all the things in nature placed on his microscope slides. What Kumagusu observed through his microscope and beyond was perhaps a philosophy of life and the universe, as intricate as a minutely detailed mandala. Emperor Hirohito later composed a waka poem in Kumagusu's memory. Seeing the rain-shrouded isle of Kashima reminds me of one born in Ki, Minakata Kumagusu.